this story, the vision of the blind lady, is uh, is, a, is a true story. I interacted with a particular family in rural West Bengal 20 years ago uh, during my PhD, and at that time, uh, from that time, I started feeling that when we can tell when genetics as genetics we sometimes not every time but sometimes we can tell without any doubt that somebody will have a disease later in their life and but because they don't yet show symptoms uh, so it's difficult to start treatment so this was uh, i was conflicted in my mind for a long time that then why are you doing it right what can we give back to the families uh, for with that information how can we help them more uh, the vision of the blind lady that is the genetic aspect what we choose for that and what we uh, what we we are very enthusiastic to make that the um, uh, film uh, as because of the genetic science has uh, as a big outreach it's needed a big outreach to the people the vision that I have is the same vision that I had 20 years ago, but of course it's now more matured, more refined. The vision is that in some cases, some rare opportunities, genetic data can absolute, with full clarity, with absolute clarity, can inform us about the future outcomes of individuals, especially in a family, in a hereditary forms of disease. Many times it doesn't, but sometimes it can. And if vision is in those cases, what we now do uh, in medical practice, now clinicians screen those patients more often than usual, so that as soon as the symptoms show, they can start the treatment. But usually, by the time the symptoms are detectable by current clinical methods, disease has actually progressed quite far. So my vision is to be able to convince different stakeholders, who are the stakeholders? Public is a stakeholder, the patients, clinicians are the biggest stakeholders because they are the ones who can do something about it. Uh, policy makers are the stakeholders, if policy makers tell that genetics should be in line with all other evidences with equal confidence, uh, then uh, we can actually go one step further and start preventive management. আমরা যখন প্রথম এই কাজটা করতে চাই আমার কাছে যখন স্ক্রিপ্টটা আসে তখন অ্যাজ এ ন্যারেটার আমার মনে হয়েছিল যে ন্যারেশন সাধারণত ডকুমেন্ট্রিতে যেটা হয় সেটা খুব ড্রাই সেটার ক্ষেত্রে হচ্ছে যে তার মধ্যে কোনো রকম ভিজুয়াল কোনো ইম্প্যাক্ট থাকে না আমার একটা ভিজুয়াল ইম্প্যাক্ট দরকার ছিল তাহলে যে ভিজুয়াল ইম্প্যাক্ট আমি কীভাবে দেব একটা গ্লোকোমা সেই রোগের ক্ষেত্রে যেটা দেখা যায় যে সেটা হচ্ছে যে সেটা একটা অন্ধকার মানে যে মানে সে ফিল করে যে পেশেন্ট সে হচ্ছে সে অন্ধকারের মধ্যে থাকে তার একটা সামান্য কোনো লাইট তার মধ্যে থেকে সে অনুসরণ করে তা আমার কাছে মনে হয় সেটা খুব জাস্টিফাই করা যায় যে সেটা হলো যে সে যদি একটা ক্যান্ডেল লাইট সেই ক্যান্ডেল লাইট নিয়ে যে শুধু সে যদি হচ্ছে মুখ করে ক্যান্ডেল লাইটের যে সফটনেস সেটা একটা আলাদাভাবে একটা ইমাজিনেশনের একটা ইমেজারি একটা জার্নি তৈরি করবে ওখানে যেটা শুধুমাত্র স্পাইরাল স্টেয়ার কেস সেটা আমাদের মনে হয়েছিল ডিএনএ স্ট্রাকচারের সঙ্গে একটা মিল থাকবে এবং যখন একটা জার্নির মধ্যে দিয়ে যাচ্ছে যখন সেই স্টোরি বলছে যে একজন রিসার্চার সেই রিসার্চার যদি সে সে উপরে উঠছে তার মানে কোথাও একটা জায়গায় তার তার একটা জীবনের ক্ষেত্রে সে লিফট আর কি তার জ্ঞান তার কর্মক্ষমতা সমস্ত কিছু দিয়ে সে হচ্ছে যে একটা জায়গায় উত্তরণের একটা চেষ্টা করছে তার একটা জার্নি ওপরে হচ্ছে এবং পরে অরিজিৎ আবার ক্যান্ডেলে নেমে আসছে সে যখন একটা প্রশ্ন করছে সমাজের কাছে যে সেটা হলো যে আমাদের রিভিজিট করা উচিত সে কিন্তু পাবলিকের মধ্যে আসছে সে নিচে নেমে আসছে আমার কাছে এটা বিশাল বড় একটা গুরুত্ব ছিল যে এটার জায়গা থেকে শুধুমাত্র পেশেন্ট বা হচ্ছে কেস স্টাডিকে রিফ্লেক্ট করা নয় সেখানে একজন রিসার্চার একজন হচ্ছে যে গবেষক সে কি যন্ত্রণা পায় মানুষ হিসাবে কি যন্ত্রণা পায় সেটাও আমার ডেলিভার করার দরকার ছিল So we are working with a vision with the with this film so without any light we can't go for any vision so light is very important with us then the candle put when the first thing origit enter with a uh, candle with the light he put the light and he starting his uh, journey with the film as 
as a researcher when he was, when he was started his uh, researcher journey at the 20 years back at that time also in uh, i think we think so that he has a candle the light of a candle that's why this is the light as yes, well right. so that's the vision so what is going to happen after this my hope is that uh, this will create a lot of awareness so the two screenings we had in two cities kolkata and delhi i was actually surprised to see that even in the educated startup society um, the awareness is quite poor uh, for example medical professionals doesn't know about genetic counseling yeah. right medical professionals doesn't know that genetic uh, evidence can be absolute certain they think it's always prediction so so that means education uh, also has to change medical education has to have more emphasis on genetic uh, education i'll give you a, an analogy what is happening in britain at the moment in uk and so to tell you that what my bigger dream would be for india uh, in uk that health system is is run by the government is called national health service uh, the national health service in 2016 uh, about 7 years ago now they published a document uh, called the genome generation okay Uh, so think about this the medical practice national mm-hmm. health service they are not genomic service but they publish a document called the genome generation it's a policy document very big it's 250 pages long but if i summarize the crux of that that vision document is that they are saying that they visualize a future not long in the future not too distant in the future but they visualize a future where genetic information would be the first line of clinical management right? so in kolkata was the first screening then there was a second screening in kolkata screening we had a very mixed audience so we had scientists we had clinicians we had members of public uh, we had uneducated start up the society and so and we had film critics uh, film line arts and media people also and the response was uh, overwhelmingly positive i would say uh, and everybody said that more such things should be done so that the public are aware so for example almost no one in the audience in kolkata knew that something like genetic counseling exists right okay. for them the word counseling means mental health related counseling the counseling can ha- can be used for genetic conditions that they they most of them was not aware um so that is a big i i see that as a big good outcome of this mm. event right and in both places uh, i'm very happy that both places the clinicians the ophthalmologists the glaucoma experts both in delhi and kolkata they were unsure uh, that how certain is this genetic based prediction right and after the movie and after the panel discussion both places they both places they were convinced that uh, this genetic evidence is 100% certain and both places they said that with such an evidence presented to them they are happy to start preventive treatment before the symptoms are visible so i see that as a win so that's the big first step as far as uh, my uh, dream is concerned a long way to go